Welcome to Liquid Tech and Crafts. Today I want to show you a new programming. And in this game, what we're going to do is we're going to have a spaceship shoot, um, like asteroids, which they need, they have a number. And then we're going to have add levels. And we could even add, like, after we destroy this many asteroids or we shoot these many boards at these asteroids. So let's get um, making by clicking new green project and and we don't need Cody. We, we, in this game we only need um, two things which is good and one of them is not Cody so I deleted it. So now I'm going to get my spaceship. Where, where is my spaceship? There. And I also need asteroids. So for the asteroids, you can literally draw the asteroids. But I'm going to pause the video so I, I'll draw it and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Now, after. So after you draw your asteroids, um, uh, so you you, you want to name them. So the first one you want to name number one. By the way, you can also have as many costumes as you want because it's not gonna um, make the program harder. So and number four, and also you might also. See me use only a couple of colors. These main gray colors are the main colors of asteroids. So there we go. Now I'm going to name it Asteroid. Okay. And I'm going to actually name it Collider. Uh, now, this asteroid is huge. Let's see. Um, actually, we first actually want to do something with the stage because you don't want it to be this thin. So I'm going to change the height much, much higher. Maybe like 2,000. Okay. There we go. Now we have our wonderful stage. Let's sort in it. So there. I'm gonna you see these are the parts we have. And then the asteroid is huge. We don't want it to be huge. So when we go to the asteroid on uh, collider, we can actually what we have can do is click on this tiny arrow. When you click on this arrow, it says X, Y, and Z. Then it has this symbol of this. You can lower this by saying maybe 20. And it's tiny now. But I wanted to pick the size, so I'm going to pick 30 right now. This is going to pick its own size. And now we need to create our asteroids. So I'm going to move the collider to the top. Oops. I said I wanted to be 30. 30. There. Now uh, where am I? Now I'm going to change the Y by a lot. Now uh, where are these numbers? Let's say we to 1,000. Actually, 1,020? No, it's not. It's still gone. So, you can pick your size till this asteroid is gone. And you can pick 50 and it's gone. Now, what we are going to do it is we need to create the asteroid. And then we first need to program our 
Ooh, yay, we have our own program. Uh, we will keep some of this. Yeah. Point towards, we want to point it towards, yes, we want to point towards the top edge. And we don't want to go to the next corner or next costume. Uh, now we can also pick our favorite costume and delete the rest. This is my favorite. So when I double click this, it's gonna play and see my asteroid literally is pointing up. My spaceship, I meant. So now what I want to do is make it go. So I'm gonna say Go to X and Y. We're not going to put a fixed direction. So we're going to put, we're going to press this button. Look here. I want it to be about there. So now, I can go to Y and copy this crazy, and crazy number, which is extremely high. Okay, that is the wrong number. But, we're going to put something called property off. So you see, this one. When we get this, we want you know, X position of mouse pointer. So now what's going to happen when I play it, is no asteroids are going to come, but my my spaceship is going around with my mouse pointer. Yay! That's fun. But, we want asteroids to come. So we're going to put, instead of forever, we're going to put a repeat until. Since when we touch an asteroid, or we need to actually, actually stop. So, I'm going to take this from sensing. We're going to put touching clone of collider. After I touch this, it it will automatically stop. Or itself, but we're not gonna never gonna touch itself. So now I want to do something. Go to X. Now I have everything set. Now I wanted to like um give it a score. Not like a score, maybe like um it has to stop, then it will say game over. So I'm going to say, and we're going to pick this big one, say, game over. I'm going to put it in the center blocks, center, oops, I moved it into the loop. Okay. And I want this to be black. And I want a higher font about 72. Now what's going to happen is right when I, um, right when I hit an asteroid, it's going to say game over. So, now we have to cut program or comment. To program it, you need to create like a program to actually make it create a clone and come towards us. So, we're going to copy a lot of things from here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to press go to block again. I'm going to put a forever loop. Or repeat until, actually.
because I want to create levels too in this game. And then go repeat until um game game is over. Repeat until um or repeat until we wanted to do like I wanted to repeat until it does you know repeat it until um it actually reaches the amount of juice. So I'm gonna set on stop block yes repeat until and we're gonna put it equal to 1,000 Ah, I can't click. Okay. 1,000 And we're going to go to variables and create a hit variable And we're going to reset it on 0 And there we go. We have every, our variable we're going to drag it right there. Now, I, I repeat this until I hit. Repeat until hit, the variable hit equal to 1000. So, I am going to type, I have 0, 0, but I'm going to copy some. I need the y always to be 150. And this is where our clone is going to be coming. Custom. Costume, I meant. So let's go to looks. I can't find it because. Who knows? Where is looks? Here. Okay. We're going to switch the costume. Dude, we're going to pick a random one. Pick random. One to five. By the way, you can pick any number you want. One to five. Because it depends. It will pick a costume in these five. If you have like ten, you can pick ten. So how many our, um, how many our costumes you have, that's the number we're putting in. Now, I want to, I want it to go to this and this area. So I'm going to put minus symbol because I need a minus. It's going to go pick random. There's a lot of things because we don't want it to go really close, so we need to set it at the fixed position and pick our URLs, or we can use a different program. But I'm gonna use the pick random and pick those, and I'm gonna pick 600 minus 600, and then I'm gonna pick 600. Now what's going to happen is it's going everywhere in the sky, but I can't even shoot, and no asteroids are coming, and it's going too fast, so I'm going to put a bait block. I'm going to wait 1.5 seconds. Now, I'm going to create a clone. I'm going to put it right in front of the weight. And I'm going to press self. And then nothing's going to happen. It's just going to do this. Every second, asteroids will pop up on top. And nothing else. So I don't want that. 
I want the, those asteroids to pick a number and come towards us. And I need to put the vinic tech. I'm gonna say... You win. I'm gonna put in something. Why are you... Yeah, you win. And... Now I'm gonna pick... Center. How much should I pick for this? Uh, 72. So I'm gonna pick 72 too. And then I'm gonna pick black. And there. And I'm gonna wait until. Wait until. Now it's down. Now it's down. Uh, okay, there we go. Now we have everything we need. Uh, for, you know, moving and creating a clone. But we need to program the clone. To do that, we're going to use clone setup. So, I'm going to drag it there. And I want the clone to just move down and bounce. So, I'm going to point a certain amount of directions. So let's see. Um, and then we'll pick a random. I wish it didn't pick zero, but 180 is completely down. So I'm gonna pick 150. It's actually negative. And then eight. I don't know. I have to check. So, here we have negative 50 and positive 50, 150. Okay, when we have those, we can drag it in and it's going to pick the right direction. Then we want it to bounce and move. So, we're going to put a forever block. Or, I'm going to put a repeat block, actually. Uh, and I need a script variable. Where is script variable? Here. So, now I want a variable called number. Number Number of hits left. This is a long variable, I guess. And I'm gonna pick random again, because everything must be randomized in the asteroid. And now I'm gonna set this to a certain amount. So I put I lift that and put it there. Um, this is where all the variables come up. Actually, this is the most variable script in the whole program. It has the most variables. We want to repeat it until um, number of hits equal to 100 or I put an or block and I'll go or I'm gonna create, I'm gonna get it. another equal sign, number of hits equal to zero. I'm gonna drag it there, and I'm gonna pick this to 20. So, it's gonna pick a number between 1 and 20, 
then you have to hit it one or twenty times to destroy the asteroid. Uh, okay. Now we have everything set. And we need the if block, of course. If touching clone of, you need a clone of good guy spaceship B. I'm gonna create the clone layer. But right now we're programming the password. And for clone, I want a label. Also, I want to really label number of pins. And that's forever. And if you will, I want to delete the clone. I'm gonna put it again. And I want to change this. I want to change it by one. And I'm gonna change. And then change um, number of lights by negative one. There, we have everything set. Now we just have to move it because it's gonna move nowhere. It will label, do all the things, and do nothing. Now we want to. We also want to bounce. If on edge, and then I don't want to put it there, put it there, and I want to move. So I'm going to put a move block. And then I'm going to put a wait block. Wait. 0 0.01 second. I'm going to put three. And come on, come on. And there we go. Have a program. And I'm gonna show you how this works. There we go. Look at those. But we just have to dodge them. We have nothing else to do. And we can't even shoot them, they're just bouncing out the bottom. We want to delete it if it bounces out the bottom. And uh, let's delete it. So I'm going to put another if block. We got a lot of program here. If touching edge, bottom edge, Bottom edge, uh, turn on top edge, bottom edge, delete this clone. Also, so there we are. We have everything set. Now let's go to that spaceship and create it to shoot. So we have this, but we need a costume. So I'm gonna get a laser from Sci-Fi. Uh, I'm gonna take this blue laser. You can pick any laser you want, and I'm gonna pick a clue. I'm gonna pick forever. Or I'm gonna broadcast two things. Broadcast E N D end, and then gonna broadcast and write again when the collider says you win. Uh, hey, stay there. Now we have this. Now when I'm gonna when I receive and. Actually, I don't need the block. Um, 
invested received store. We're gonna put it equal to block end. E N D receive source. Now what I have is we're gonna put it on start repeat until block. Okay, we have a lot of repeat until blocks, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna drag this right there. Now it's gonna repeat until I re it receives end. We're gonna create a clone. Uh, okay. Create clone of self. And I'm gonna wait. Because I don't want it to go a million feet per second. So I'm gonna put point 0.1. And now. Now I need a clone setup too. I when I touch when I just touch you know, okay. I want it when I touch it. So I'm gonna put a curve. It's clone. We're gonna put it if this clone makes sure it is just a clone. Touching um touching the top edge. There. Now it's gonna touch the top edge, and then if it'll check if it's a clone or not, and then it'll do nothing because there's nothing in there. Now we want the thing to actually delete, so we're gonna put delete clone, and there we go. And we also need another clone setup to move. Because it's gonna, just going to stay there. Boop. And we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is also clone setup. I want it to move all the way up. So I'm going to say, I want it to move up. So I'm going to put a move block. Move three pixels. Three, where do I put R? But three there. Uh, now I need to move. wait. The same time that I waited last time. Wait point um zero one. After I have this. I have to, have to actually, um, I move three packages and then I wait. Then I'll only do it for once. I want to put it for ever block. And then I want to put a new move block. I want it to move like 10 packages first. Maybe 20. First, because I'm going to put 20 pixels. And then there we are. And I'm going to put an if block. If touching any. I want if I touch anything, it must get destroyed. I'm going to put a touching clone of any because Clone means clone and normal. Any delete this clone. So there are a lot of ways this clone can be. There are only two ways actually. 
can be deleted. But here we are. We play this game like this. And look at that. We're literally creating. We're literally destroying our own. And they're not gonna get destroyed. Now we need to program much more. And look, we don't, don't want 20 packs here. We might need like 100. I also want to switch to a clone because I don't want the costume to do that. I'm gonna switch costume to you know, blue laser. If I do that, I'm gonna put it on start block and I'm gonna put good guy space. B3. Uh, now let's do. Now what we have is this. We're creating bullets and they're going very, very slowly. I want them to go extremely quickly. So I'm gonna change the timing on them. Uh what's going on? Zero zero one and I'm gonna lose five XPs instead. And there my bullets are gonna move so quickly now. Yes, they are. Okay, the computer's getting laggier. We can also set it so every, not so quickly either. I set it how much time we want. And I'm gonna set it to five. And I want more speed. I don't know why. Okay, I'm just gonna put a bunch of zeros. And this is gonna mess up me. There. Nothing will happen when one of them gets hit. So what we need to do is, we don't want to dodge them, actually. And I'm going to actually move bounce all the way down. So after it sends it that, then it will bounce. Now we also want to delete the clone. So, where is this? There we are. We need a label. We set a label somewhere. Label numbers of left. Yeah, let's see. What is wrong? We need to shoot couple. And I understand the mistake. We need to set font. Color, I guess. To white. Right in the beginning. I guess if that works. Oh, they're tiny beanie. Let's add more. I said another block actually. And I'm gonna put 75. Uh, not 75, 72. I said I clicked on you. There we go. Now, let's go. And it's gonna shoot. And there. We all, this is the basic game. Principle of the game. Just shooting and destroying these asteroids. And then we'll get hit. And after we hit some amount, we will get it. And there are a lot of asteroids. I'm going to lower the time of how many asteroids are getting created. How fast is this? Oh, I'm going to set it to after 3 seconds. Not 13. I have to wait 13 seconds for that. No. Okay, there. It's much less laggier. They can aim on their own.
There are eight cake of boys. So now we have all this. Line reach 1000. So this is a basic green. Now I'm going to add something to space this variable. So when, so when you click it, instead of dragging it, just click it. And then you'll get this. Then press add water. And I'll hit water. Now I don't want to do this. Yes, that is all correct. It should say the perfect amount. And it's not, it's not actually updating. So we're gonna set some stuff up. First, I'm gonna say hit. And we're gonna say the variable. I'm gonna press, then I'm gonna press it slash 1000. And there we are, we're done. We typed it all. Now what we have is this. And I'm shooting. So whenever I shoot a boy, and after it hits a certain amount, it will die. The asteroid. But they're bigger asteroids. You can also lower the limit by just going to the collider and just instead of 20, you can put 10. And then you'll have a lower amount. Uh, and I'm going to name this project the, the Space Battle. Battle. Um, thank you for watching Lego Tech and Crafts. Please subscribe and like this video. By the way, in the next video, we are gonna do create more levels and also add backgrounds. Thank you.